if you talk about last three uh, organizations your contribution is transformational amazon pay you have made it to a million dollar platform how did you do that <laughs> I think I've been lucky and I'm grateful to have had amazing teams who have had the passion and the desire to build new things and to deliver new products. Welcome to another episode of Tech Talk. We will be discussing static SaaS to dynamic agentic platform. So you talked about feedback loop, which is so important, right? We talk about rag a lot, but actually, if you see the real uh, flywheel is also your feedback loop. So if you talk about companies like YouTube, from basic video hosting platform, it has become the world's number one content generating platform. It's because of the feedback loop. Watch next a recommendation engine. Do you have some examples of some? feedback loops which you have yeah. implemented uh, so think about a situation where all of these systems whether that's for uh, human mobility or whether that's for food delivery yeah. systems are trying to determine peak times volumes order volumes mm -hmm. or ride volumes or food order uh, demands and they're trying to predict i'm just wondering then in this autonomous world right evolving world every day something new is coming and compliance regulations and guardrails. What are the best ways to keep up with all of these for the autonomous system? If I knew that answer, Jazz, <laughs> and if I could keep up with the space at which it's going, I would love to hear it. So here is my perspective on regulations. The regulations cannot create technology and the moment you're constrained, you're going to hurt the technology. Yeah, to all the regulators. <laughs> uh, oh no, now I have a target on my back. <laughs> you mentioned about drivers' benefits, right? So that reminded me of talking about Lyft Direct. So that is very uh, fascinating. Uh, it gives you the full platform, right? No. Uh, where uh, the drivers can have real-time recommendations, have real-time payouts and reduce the manual friction, basically. Completely. So do you think it is fair to say that this was your first step towards moving to agentic territory? That's a fantastic question. I think, you know, Lyft Direct came out of pure customer obsession. How do we improve that experience? Mm -hmm. And the bottom line that it came down to was, we wanted drivers to get paid at the end of every run. I think we are moving more towards uh, multi-agent operating system as well. That's right. uh, a lot of companies like Relevance AI, Langchang, they have kind of developed whole platforms for agents, uh, retrievers, orchestrations, memory handling and all of that. Do you think this is going to be very important for any organization to transform from static SaaS to dynamic agentic platform? Uh, I think it is critical. I think static, you're going to die. Yeah. Uh, sorry to sound so dramatic, but that's the reality of it. And we didn't touch base on Easy Cater Smart Ordering. So okay. that was one of the best things I have seen. I mean, you have completely changed the workplace dining from 10 people to 10,000 people. Mm. I mean, I'm very much interested in knowing the whole story. 